Hello and welcome to Indus News. My name is Hamza Amjid coming to you from our studios in Lahore. These are the top stories of this hour. Responding to Prime Minister Imran Khan's renewed offer of cooperation, India has handed over a dossier on the Pulwama attack to Pakistan's acting High Commissioner in New Delhi. India's Foreign Ministry in a statement claimed that the dossier contained specific details of the involvement of jaish e mohammed militants in the attack. Earlier, Khan reiterated Pakistan's willingness to act on any actionable intelligence provided by India on the Pulwama incident. In a televised address, Khan called on India to enter into dialogue to prevent its escalation from spinning out of control. He said that it was time for India to demonstrate better sense and responsibility. Khan said that neither he nor India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi could afford a miscalculation considering the weapons at their disposal. In another development, India's opposition parties have expressed anguish over Prime Minister Narendra Modi's blatant politicisation of the escalation with Pakistan. In a statement issued after a meeting in Parliament, 21 opposition parties criticised Modi for exploiting the sacrifices of India's armed forces. The opposition parties warned Modi that national security must transcend narrow political considerations. Meanwhile, airports in northwest India and Indian-occupied Kashmir have reopened after being closed in the wake of India's second intrusion into Pakistani airspace. Officials said that commercial flights to airports in Punjab, Arunachal Pradesh and Indian-occupied Kashmir have resumed. In Pakistan, commercial flights remain suspended for the time being. Moving on, Taliban says that they have held extensive discussions with US officials on the withdrawal of foreign troops from Afghanistan. Taliban spokesman Zabiullah Mujahid in a statement said that three days of talks in Doha also focused on preventing Afghanistan from being used against others. Mujahid said that Taliban's political affairs chief, Mullah Abdul Ghani Baradar, met with US Special Envoy Zalmi Khalilzad and the commander of foreign forces in Afghanistan, General Scott Miller. Mujahid said that peace talks will resume in Doha on Saturday. Speaking to reporters in Doha, the spokesman of Taliban's political office in Doha, Suhail Shaheen, said that the withdrawal of foreign forces is essential for sustainable peace. He said that talks with the Afghan government is an internal issue. And at least 25 people have been killed after a fire at Cairo's main railway station. Officials said that at least 50 other people were injured, most of them critically, after a locomotive collided with a barrier at the Ramses railway station. The National Railway Authority said that the fuel tank of the train exploded after the crash, setting the train alight. <laughs> 